You know what, I'm fucking fed up with the state of America as we know it. Alright? We have two sides fighting each other. We have the Patriots. People want to think they're such great Americans, right? No. You know, the, the retarded Antifa members stand in front of them and then they get hit. But the Patriots who hit them are still fucking assholes too. They still have it in them to hit someone with the vehicle, right? So what does that say about them, hmm? I say ditch both sides and vote libertarian. And I better fucking keep saying it until we have the time we have to vote both these assholes out. You know? So let's get behind Joe Jorgensen right now. Just get the fucking Dems and the Republicans out. You know? I'm sick of it. You people have been so extreme, especially in fringe cities like the one that I fucking live in right now, that I can't fucking stand. You know? I'm going to a moderate place because I fucking hate all you motherfucking assholes. Trump supporters, come get in my face sometime. Antifa, come get in my face and see what happens, huh? There is such thing as a third. There is such thing as a third position. Don't fall for the lie that you can only vote for one or the other. Trump is not independent. He is a politician. And if he's not so much of a politician, he's one of the biggest liars that have ever fucking lived. Alright? He's all fake news. He's the fake news. Not CNN. He's the fucking fake news. I believe in freedom and individual liberties. Just like every other American. Just like the founders. But I hate to tell you, Trump's not it. Trump's, Trump is pure fascism. All the way. See, what we needed was Ron Paul in 2012. We need to continue the Ron Paul revolution. But the problem is, there's nobody young to try to run it now. There's nobody out there. Joe Jorgensen, people aren't even giving this person a look over. Hell, I haven't even fully researched it, but I know there's a third option out there and we gotta get on it. Or else it's gonna be another four years of hell. Or at least let Trump run his business, but do not fucking let Donald Trump's sons anywhere near the White House when he's done. Trump should go to jail. Look at how much fraud he's committed. Look at what he's done in New Jersey. Look at what he's done in New York. I mean, look at the businesses that have failed on this idiot. This fucking troll idiot president. He ran as a joke. He fucking ran as a joke. And he got in because people just took him too light. A joke can be reality, I hate to say, and these are those times. But all of you, all of you retarded motherfuckers out there on the left and the right, you better wake the fuck up now, because the day of reckoning is here and you're both contributing to the evil. Don't make me cast spells on some of you, because I'm going to fucking do it. I have magical powers. You know, I'm from an indigenous people in Roman times, before Christ. And I don't like any of you sons of bitches. You're ruining my planet, is what you're fucking doing with your nonsense. Antifa, liberals, conservatives. I don't give a fuck no more. You're all bad. You're all on the fridge. You all need to die. You better change, or you're gonna be fucking going to hell. You fucking racist bastards who support Trump. You fucking retards who support Joe Biden. I'm sick of you all, for Christ's sakes. I'm so angry right now, I could knock someone out. Trying to keep composure. So 
fucking difficult. This fucking climate of ours. Look at me. Is this like someone who's fucking playing around? I'm pissed off. To those who want to put Trump back in. And to those who think the Democrats are going to fix it. No. We need a third option. We need the Libertarian Party to get back in power again. The last time that happened was 1776. And even then, we still had fascists. We have to defund the police. We have to defund the military for overseas and we, we could use the military here for extreme issues domestically with people. But we need to defund the police and we need to defund the wars overseas. We're going to have military use them here to deal with extreme crimes. But defund the police. And I have cousins who are cops too. You know? And some cops are good people. But they could have a function just because you defund the police and they lose their jobs, they could get another job. They could even do police work on the side for money as, as a private person or something. As a private security or something like that. Private street police or something. You know, that, that could be worked out. You know, come in groups or something. That, that should be the new police. You know? Jails, prisons, let them all out. We have the most locked up people in this country. And since the average Joe now might be becoming president in the future, maybe the average Joe has a chance at this. I'm going to put my name out here, okay? Transgender woman, Joe, Joe Ann Justice, okay? Libertarian. Portland, Oregon but wants to relocate. But I would be a definite good candidate to run. Nobody knows who I am. But can someone spread the name out? I will even sleep my way to the top if I have to. And I'm going to be honest about every goddamn thing that I need to do. But... To all you out there who think you're changing the world, you're making the fucking problems worse, and you all need to fucking take a seat. And Donald Trump needs to croak already. He's a fucking prick. I hate him. He's not even funny. He's redundant. Every time he speaks, I cringe. But I can't watch Joe Biden either. I thought Obama was a terrible president. I think the best president we've ever had is George W. Bush. He has my full endorsement now. Even though I wanted to vote Kerry to vote him out. Bush got another four years. But then Obama came in. Now Trump and George Bush looks golden. He looks like the best president we've ever fucking had. At this point. Especially since Ron Paul didn't get in in 2012. Ron Paul needed to win. Obama should have been a one-term president. Ron Paul should have got the next one. And that would have affected what happened today. Trump wouldn't even be in there. If, if Ron Paul would have won, there would have been no Donald Trump. It would have been somebody else. Maybe it would have been Hillary. But that would have been better than this. Even if Hillary wasn't going to be any better than Trump, at least having four years of Ron Paul would be good to deal with Hillary, assuming Hillary would be the president now. And she'd be terrible. At least we would have Ron Paul for four years. That's how I look at it. Extremes need to fucking die.
people need to get united. And the ones who can't unite need to be thrown in gas chambers. Because I'll fucking pull that lever. I'll be Adolf Hitler. Except more Jewish looking. And less racial. That's all. I would put people in the gas chamber based on how big of an asshole they were. And some of the elites too. Like Hitler would have been. So yeah, you might as well call me the new transgender libertarian version of Adolf Hitler. Because Trump isn't going to do it. Biden isn't going to do it. The Republicans are done. The Democrats are done. You need a third option. You fucking retard bozos. What, it's all of a sudden not cool to vote libertarian now? It was in 2008. There were a lot more people more willing to get on board with libertarians. Now everyone changed. What the fuck happened to people? That's the end of the rant.